Now let's look at certain properties of inequalities. If A is greater than B and we add C on both the sides, then still A plus C will be greater than B plus C. Now similarly, let's look at this example. It says that we are aware that 8 is greater than 4. So if we add 2 on both sides, that makes 10 greater than 6. And we all know that is true. So remember, when we add something on both sides of inequality, the result remains unchanged. Now according to the next property, if, the, if we subtract C on both sides of inequality, where it says A is greater than B, then again, A minus C is going to be greater than B minus C. That means the result remains unchanged if we subtract something on both sides of inequality. Now let's understand this example where it says that 8 is greater than 4. And if we subtract 2 on both the sides, we still get at 6 greater than 2, which is absolutely true. Now let's look at the next property of inequality. But this time it's multiplying by number C. Now it's given that A is greater than B. Then on multiplying both sides by C, A C will be simply greater than B C if we take C as some positive real number. For example, we are having 8 greater than 4. If we multiply both sides with positive 2, we simply get 16 greater than 8. And that's absolutely true. Now, instead of multiplying it by 2, we multiply it by negative 2. Then we get negative 16 is greater than negative 8, which is false. It's not true. So that means if it is multiplied by some negative number, the sign gets changed. So once again, let's revise that if A is given greater than B, then if we multiply this by C, that is some positive number, then AC will be simply greater than BC. And if we multiply by negative, then the sign gets reversed. That is, AC will be now less than BC. Now remember, if A is given greater than B, then which will be greater, 1 over A or 1 over B? Obviously, 1 over B will be greater than 1 over A. For example, we know that 8 is greater than 4. Now we take their reciprocal. So 8 becomes now 1 over 8 and 4 becomes 1 by 4. So obviously, 1 over 8 is lesser than 1 over 4.